15 really unreal animals explained. Welcome to Wonders of Nature Wednesdays. Number 15. Predatory tunicates. They're also known as the Venus flytrap of the sea, as will soon be apparent. These alien looking creatures live in the deep sea canyons of California. Staying rooted in place, they use their yawning, incandescent mouths as a lure, just waiting for some unsuspecting prey to swim by before snatching them up. What else can it do while they're staying in one place? Well, they can always mate with themselves if they can't find a partner. There are worse ways to kill time. Number 14 glasswing butterfly. A butterfly with glass wings must be some concoction dreamed up by a mad photoshopper. But this is an actual insect, native to Central American rainforests from Mexico to Panama. The wings are actually translucent, and it's thought that they evolved this way in order to allow the insect to hide from predators, not warn them off. Without the wing's dark borders, the glasswing butterfly would be nearly invisible to the human eye. Number 13 the carpet shark. That doesn't sound as exotic as the creature's other name, tasseled wabagon, which sounds like a name from a Dr. Seuss story. And by the way, wabagon means shaggy beard. And while it looks more like a rug or blanket, this animal has jagged teeth and a mouth big enough to swallow animals nearly their own size, as you can see in the photo there. They're mostly found in the shallow waters of Indonesia and Australia and can grow over 10 feet long. Now keep in mind that these beasts use their unique markings to stay camouflaged in the sand, and unwary people have stepped on them. You step on this carpet, and it could give you a nasty bite in return. Number 12. Gulpa eel. It's also known as the pelican eel, thanks to its massive jaws that enable it to swallow prey as big as itself and sometimes bigger. According to factzoo.com, they like deep tropical waters and can live nearly two miles below the ocean surface. A luminous organ on the tip of its tail helps light its way since sunlight doesn't reach the deeper depths. That organ also serves as a lure to attract fish, plankton, shrimp, and other prey. Number 11. Okapi. Kind of looks like nature threw some spare animal parts together to create this creature. Either that or someone got cute with Photoshop. The Okapi are native to Central Africa and can stand up to six and a half feet tall and weigh close to 800 pounds. It sort of kind of looks like a horse, but has a neck shaped like a giraffe's. And those distinctive zebra-like markings on its legs, how about that? Now it's real. No digital enhancement required. Did you guess that it's actually most closely related to the giraffe? Number 10. Black Swallower. This is a relatively small fish that lives in the deep water. At 10 inches long, the animal can chow down on animals twice its length and 10 times its mass pretty easily. In 2007, fishermen found a dead swallower floating off the coast of the Cayman Islands. This creature had gulped down a 34-inch mackerel. The meal was so supersized that the mackerel started decomposing in the swallower's gut before it could digest the whole thing. The dead fish floated like a balloon to the water's surface. Science have received most black swallowers in the exact same manner. Number 9. Lowland Streaked Tenrec. If a big yellow jacket and a hedgehog mated, the result might be this animal, which has a defense mechanism reminiscent of a porcupine. Those sharp yellow bristles provide great camouflage in the forest, but the animal also has spiky spines that grow between the fur. If a predator tries to attack, they'll get a mouthful of those spines for the trouble. They're unique to the island of Madagascar, and because of the small size, around six inches long, and weighing about seven ounces, some people think they're very cute and would make great pets. Well, just don't pet it, otherwise you might get a handful of spines. Number 8. In 2012, a huge sea creature was captured on video by a remote operated vehicle, or ROV. The ROV was studying a pipe for a deep sea drilling operation near the UK when this creature appeared. A lot of theories circulated, including that it was all a hoax, but it turns out it wasn't a hoax after all. It was identified as a deep steria enagmatica jellyfish, a very thin and translucent species of jellyfish that grows to over 30 feet wide. Number 7. 
Umbonia spinosa. The name sounds like a spell Harry Potter would invoke. Well, these insects are thought to be related to cicadas and are native to South America, and they're also called tree hoppers. That big dorsal fin serves the purpose of discouraging predators like birds from eating it. They also love feasting on tree sap and have a very sweet diet, and this causes them to produce a sugary excrement which is favored by ants and is called honeydew. Sorry for the visual, but the ants get so addicted to this stuff that they become protective of these tree hoppers and will actually attack anything that tries to take one away. Number six, narwhal whale. If you ever wondered what a whale-unicorn hybrid might look like, the narwhal is about as close as you're likely to get. That long tusk is usually found on males, sprouting from the head, and they can grow as long as 10 feet. The tusk is actually an enlarged tooth with close to 10 million nerve endings inside. They prefer the Arctic waters of Greenland, Canada, Norway, and Russia, and can grow as long as 17 feet and weigh over two tons. Number five. Giraffe Weevil. Interesting looking, to say the least, it would make for a great new alien species in the movies. Native to Madagascar, the giraffe weevil's name stems from its long neck, which is often up to three times longer in the males. They use that elongated neck to fight other males over the right to mate with the females. They're one of the longer weevil species, growing to approximately two and a half centimeters. Along with that size and extended neck, the insects are further distinguished by the bright red wing covers. Now, you won't forget that look anytime soon. Number four. What is it? Now, there aren't many pictures of this on the internet, although it's been described as a sea creature that resembles a miniature dragon, but there's some reason to doubt the authenticity of the photo. The resolution seems to be a bit low, and the picture is closely cropped. So why can't we see the animal in its entirety? Then there are claims that the creature was found in California, but other sources say it was found in Indonesia. Well, one website ran some tests, and according to their results, the picture was, in fact, photoshopped. What do you think? Number three tree kangaroo. Sure, kangaroos are known for hopping about, but did you know there's a species of kangaroo that can actually live in the trees? They're found in the rainforests of Australia and Papua New Guinea. They wrap their forelimbs around the back of a tree, then hop against it with their strong hind legs, which lets the forelimbs slide upwards. Like their better-known cousins, these guys have amazing leaping abilities. Tree kangaroos have been recorded jumping from trees to the ground at distances as high as 60 feet. Number two, the Christmas tree worm. Quick, this is a picture of two Christmas trees, or is it a worm? Well, it is a worm, but the name gives it away, right? Kind of a trick question. Anyway, these worms live on tropical coral reefs around the world and grow to about one and a half inches long. As you can see, it has two tree-like protrusions originating from its body. While decorative, the brightly colored crowns are appendages the creature uses to breathe with and to catch its food, which is usually microscopic plants. What kind of present would you put under this Christmas tree? Number one, pangolin. Looks like an anteater threw on some armor and wants to get medieval. Well, this is a prehistoric looking pangolin, the only mammal on earth that's covered in scales. They grow to about 39 inches long and live in Asia and Africa. When threatened, they'll roll up into a ball using the scales for protection. And though they resemble anteaters, new evidence shows they're more closely related to the carnivora, which includes bears and wolves. Unfortunately, pangolin are the most trafficked animal on earth with over 100,000 captured every year across Africa and Asia. That's putting them on the International Union for the Conservation of Nature Red List of Animals Facing Extinction. See you next week on Wonder of Nature Wednesdays.